Well, it's do or die time here in the Super Mega Baseball League here on Electro Sports TV. And uh, Bulldozers Power must win or their season is over. Yeah. Uh, Furious Punch Bath back in at third base, and uh, and we're going to be we're bringing the A game here. Des Eyeliners pitching for us because uh, we're we're going to leave it all out there, put it all on the field, just leave it lying around the place, and and that's what's what. Cindy will lead us, lead us off. She's having a good playoff so far, but uh, it's Cindy, and uh, and sometimes things do not go in the way that you hope. Uh, Dante Intestines is pitching uh, for Stardozer. And we'll just have to see uh, whether we can get any goodness out of this. Strike two. There you go. Cindy boldly hits it uh, to Len Styrofoam there who catches her out. Here's Hatchet Malibu. Batting 300. Got a home run. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yes, uh, that's so-so. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll wait these out a little bit. This this early couple of innings, we'll, uh, we'll probably just try and get the pitcher to, to burn through his... Stamina a little bit. Hatchet there with the drive to centre field is gone. Margot Spatula with the catch. Ulysses failure, our third batter, and, uh, and last opportunity for any rays of sunshine. Uh, well, we'll we'll see. He's he's not been at his best. Uh, batting 333, which is fine, uh, but uh, but not the level of performance that we've come to hope for. And uh, it's now ball three, strike one. He's uh, he's gonna what, he's gonna try and wait for something suitable. Anyway, here here is make or break time, and he struck out. Oh dear, the big man has struck out, and uh, and that's well that that could be telling. Uh, we don't, we've struggled there. Uh, nothing nothing good happened in our first at bat, uh, but we'll 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 see what happens. Uh, here's Big Des. Uh, big Des has been a bit of a hero for the team this year, um, and uh, and hopefully he can continue to do so. In today's game, well, he's not done so well there. First batter, first uh, base hit. Come on, Des, you're better than this. Yeah, well, okay, there it is. Here's Horatio Gunship. Uh, he's batting a quarter. Uh, we'll see if, uh, well, let's see if he's come to play today. He's come to play. He's come to play a lot. Zoltan's looking for it, but it's gone. It's out of here. And uh, and a devastating hammer blow to Bulldozer Power's uh, opportunities here in the very first inning. Uh, we, we brought our A-game pitcher out and uh, and he's looking he's, he's looking very miserable. Uh, his uh, party boy, who's batting 5-8-8 in the playoffs. Uh, it's a remarkable performance for any player. Um, yeah, no, I don't think I've got anything even remotely close to that. Uh, but, uh, but that's, well, you know, it's it's a game, isn't it? Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, and sometimes it rains. And uh, that, one's, that one's gone into the audience. Uh, but, the I mean, the audience are, are probably threatening to leave already. Well, we'll, we'll see how it goes. I was going to Kojak, who will actually get an out. Well done, Kojak. Good job. Uh, is Justine Underworld? Not batting so hotly, uh, but uh, the team are already doing all right. So, I mean, she she should be moderately confident about uh, anything. Oh, never mind. Uh, out number two, caught by Kojak there at first base. His Len Styrofoam uh, batting 154. We're into the tail end here. They have put, it seems, all their strong batters up front. And, uh, and, and that means their less strong batters aren't up front. Kojak again. There you go. It's the Kojak show. She she wipes the floor with all of them. And at the end of one, it is uh, Stardozer 2, Bulldozer Power and Nout, uh, Papal Event Horizon next up to bat. And uh, we're, we're going to need to turn the jets on before we uh, before we slip too far back in the scoring. Right, uh, that one's gone wide. Yeah, that one's a strike. Yep, okay. Papal Event Horizon slides one out to centre field. And that will do. That's got him on base. And, uh, well, that's that's more than we've accomplished to date, so that's all good. Here's Furious. He's only batting 200 in the playoffs, but he has sat out the last game uh, due to uh, fatigue or something. Uh, he was replaced by Big Rod McGurk, who was awful. Uh, ball two. Furious is, is not in a hurry. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't swing at that. That was a clear. That was out of the strike zone by a country mile. Ball three. Um, and, uh, and intestines. Seems to be having some accuracy issues as Furious takes his base without any effort at all. Uh, here's Zoltan. 
batting sixth, 36 in the playoffs. Zoltan has really come into his own, but uh, can he replicate that kind of form today? Well, well, we'll soon find out, won't we? We'll, we'll give it a moment and uh, and see if Zoltan is is uh, in the mode. Is Zoltan in the mode? No, he's not. No, no, that was a that, it was a it wasn't an easy take, but it was a take nonetheless. Here's Big Steve. Uh, Big Steve Murray here, and uh, well, I, I did have a look at bringing in Julie Hardware, but Steve's stats on paper are better. Now, uh, he's in position to get the entire team out here, so, uh, you know, that, that is the that is the, the Murray manoeuvre, as we call it. He's hit it high, he's hit it long, He's has he hit it long enough? Yes. Big Steve Murray there puts us into the lead. And uh, a bulldozer power. Ah, the business once again. Well, uh, I had a moment there where I thought, uh, should I hold my runners back so that we can at least advance a base? I don't know what's going to... But I ended, I ended up just watching. Uh, here's Kojak to uh, to round out uh, uh, our batting this time around. She's done very nicely there. Uh, a centre field hit. And that's super duper. Yep. Okay, and that's uh, this will bring up Big Des. Who is, uh, they can't all be big, but Des is big though, isn't he? he? Well, he's got an enormous chin. That is true. Okay, Des, only if you're feeling really confident, mate. I know you're batting 500 and therefore your confidence is perhaps uh, in the zone. Feel free to strike out. Just don't get everybody out, Des. Just don't get everybody, Des. Just, just, you should let yourself strike out, Des. Oh, that's a shame. Wasted a runner on base there. Uh, with Cindy up next, anything could have happened of a positive nature. But Bulldozer Power racking up three keeps them in the game. Uh, here's Thor Haystacks, uh, 250 with one run batted in over the playoff period. And we're going to uh, we're going to start with the uh, the opening fasty there. Yeah, it's, it's called a fasty. That's what we call it. That one was just inside. Okay, try it again, but this time on target. Or not. There you go. It's gone Furious, who whips it over the first, and that's out number one. Here's Boris Wet Paper Bag, and uh, he's uh, he's also batting 250, uh, which suggests to me four at bats. Yeah, I know, yeah, I knew that anticipation was coming. I've been throwing quite a lot of first ball fastballs, uh, so we'll we'll endeavour not to do any more of that, or at least not for a little while until they stop anticipating it. Uh, that's that's good. Des, your pitching's all over the shop, mate. Do you want to try and you know put something where it's supposed to be? There we go. Eyeliner. Nabs the strikeout, and that will put his mood upwards. Is orbital velocity the uh, the catcher, and we'll we'll start him off with something that isn't a fastball. That's good, right? Yeah, come on, let's go, Des. Cloud of crapping, the cloud of crapping. That's no, uh, that's it's not what you meant to say at all, is it? No, that's, that was a spoonerism. It was a spoonerism, but funny nonetheless. Uh, anyway, another strikeout for Des Eyeliner, and that's the end of Stardozer, and uh, a reversal of fortunes as Bulldozer Power are in the lead at the end of two. Three runs, plays two. Still a long way to go. Uh, here's Cindy Vapid. Nothing do for her on her first at bat, but we'll uh, we'll see if she can do anything with this one. That's that's how the game's played. Right. Okay, no, strike one, ball one. Cindy Vapid. Whoa, very late. On the swing for Cindy, and justifiably out there at first. Here's Hatchet. Hatchet's confidence is not what you want it to be. Now, her replacement is Bernie Crampons, who we know has been poor over the course of the season. Uh, Hatchet has been a bit of this and a bit of that. Uh, but uh, we can't we can't have either of those things. If I was there... Well, there we go. That's a base hit. All right. Well done, Hatchet. Good job. Your your position is maintained. Um, that's fine. No, that's all right. She, she, got, uh, she got a base hit there. His failure, who hopefully is going to have a game today. Because uh, we we can't really handle anyone. We can't carry anyone today. Yeah, yeah we really we really can't. And Dante Intestines is juiced, apparently. Uh, which, to my mind, says that he's on all kinds of stimulants that he shouldn't be. Failure, it looks like, has got everybody out. No, he's got the speed to make it a first. But that still takes us to two outs, and it's Papal Event Horizon to round things out for us to uh, to try and get something from this. Uh, Papal has been known to knock it over the fence once in a while, but he hasn't done so uh, during the playoffs. In fact, he's only batting one of four. 
uh, for his uh, playoff appearance. He swung at something high. That's not going to do it. No. No, no. No. I mean, distance was okay, but... No, the distance wasn't okay. Oh, that's fair. Yeah, okay. His intestines, uh, the pitcher, they're keeping him in. All right. Well, I mean, you know, we have been known to play in such a way that even a pitcher can have a, a decent appearance uh, at the plate. But this wasn't one of them. He's gone. Okay. Back round to Margot Spatula. 5.33, two home runs and eight runs batted in for the leadoff batter. And let's see if uh, if Dez can work his magic. Uh, Dez is magic, as you know. Oh, that's, a, that's a very good hit. That's going to be two bases at least. Papal there, returning it over to third. Uh, just to stop any further advancing. Because, you know, we don't want to get too cheeky. His gunship. Uh, home run with his first at bat. What's he going to do with this one? Hopefully not the same thing. Uh, attempted taking of third, and they did. They got the steal on third. Crikey. There's not what you can do about that. Yeah, it's, it's, maybe they, you should learn something from that and actually try and do it yourself. Yeah, maybe. Uh, they're going to get a run off that one. Uh, but that is out number two. Uh, tying the score. And here's Party Boy, uh, who didn't actually manage to get anything with his first uh, plate appearance. And he's hit that one foul. Like some kind of clown. Yes. Uh, big Sinky. Yeah, strike two. All right, Des, come on, fox him. If we can, if we can nab his mojo, then he's done for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Get off. Well, at the end of three, it is all square. It is three, three, and uh, it's it's really could go either way. Uh, neither team looking uh, particularly incapable or capable. Neither one of those things. They're both looking, uh, you know, uh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Uh, but it is home runs from both teams that have made the difference so far. And that's uh, that's out there. Furious unable to uh, to make a play. Uh, Zoltan next. Uh, still batting 5-8-3 despite his first inning not so much. And here's a second inning not so much. Well, a second appearance. You know what I mean. Um, yeah, so that is, there's that. And it's uh, it's Big Steve. Is our, uh, is our last opportunity here. Well... I think Big Steve's had his play of the day, hasn't he? He's uh, he, sticking one over the fence was about as much as you can uh, you can hope from the big line. Uh, so we'll we'll just let him stand in, and um, we'll see what he gets out of it. Yeah, strike two, ball three. Oh, Steve, you should have left it. You could have walked, Steve, and I know you don't like to run. Okay, well, nothing doing for Bulldozer Power there. Uh, we'll so hopefully we can dispatch uh, Stardozer Human Resources with similar verve. There you go. That one's gone as far as fits Cindy, and that will be out. That's gone. Number one uh, is Len Styrofoam. Uh, okay, let's let's try him on one of these bad boys. That's uh, not so bad. That's just a bad pitch. It's not a bad boy in the slightest. No. There you go, strike one. Dez is looking pretty good so far, uh, but uh, it, he's only going to stick with us so far. And uh, Mark Disneyland, uh, coming from you to you from the uh, from the trainer's tent, uh, is still wounded. Um, yeah, no, that's I, you know, uh, that's uh, that's our number two reliever is uh, is still uh, still out injured. So we're not going to have a huge number of choices when it comes to uh, a potential replacement for Dez when his time is done. Uh, maybe he'll make it through the full game, but I haven't seen that so far this season. And therefore, he's probably not going to make it through the full game. Yeah, where's that one going, Des? Could go anywhere, man. Uh, I'm just I'm just a sling in it. Okay, all right, there we are. Yep, that one. Okay. All right, and a, a clean inning all round there, and uh, Stardozer are retired. Uh, still 3-3 three to three at the end of four play. Here's, uh, here's Kojak Misteron, single with a first at bat. Well, uh, they actually got a single from this one as well. Oh, well done. Well, Kojak's doing all right. And that's that's good to see. Uh, Des, this time, you can swing away, mate. All right. Uh, have at it. Let's see what we can do. Uh, he may only be a pitcher, but he's he's had some fortune at uh, with, uh, with stick in hand. And therefore, we're going to let him do what he feels like. 
Well, it feels like doing that. It's almost there. Is it there? It's not. It's there. Well, uh, we have said before that Des Eyeliner is, is really in the running to be the, the team MVP. And, uh, and hitting a home run in the playoffs while pitching a pretty clean game at the same time. You've, you've got to say that, uh, that he really is uh, a renaissance man of baseball. Uh, he does it all. He's a, he's a polymath. Uh, of uh, of baseballing prowess, Cindy there, Joe. Very lucky for Cindy Vapid. Uh, if it uh, wasn't for the second baseman being lazy, uh, she would have been picked off there. But uh, no, she managed to get a base hit. Hatchet Malibu now uh, is uh, is going to see if she can uh, she can do something tasteful, and she does. She puts that into a really awkward position. It's a base hit for Hatchet. Uh, bases uh, one and two now occupied by bulldozer power players. No outs. Ulysses failure up to bat and his batting average has dropped below 300 for the first time in well as long as I can remember um, yeah there's uh, gracious me uh, the opportunities present themselves failure there he's, he's trying to snatch it he, he's he got greedy he should have waited for a better pitch but uh, got himself out with the first one and uh, someone needs to give him a give him a talking to his paper event horizon okay Papal, another player who has historically been pretty strong, uh, but today is uh, well. Okay, got a base hit there, so that's that's all good. That would have been a run, you know. It would have been. Okay, Furious Sponge Bath up next. He's had a walk so far today. A walk here would be super, uh, but uh, we'll we'll see what comes his way. Uh, base hit would be super. Anything more than that would be more than super. It would be extra extra specially super. Papal there swings at a high, and that's no use. And that one's inside. Uh, intestines, it seems, has lost his confidence. Uh, full count for Furious. Where are we going? Go for another walk. And that's another run. And that's going to demolish the confidence of the pitcher as Zoltan is next up to bat. And if there were a time for Zoltan to match his playoff form, it would be now. Uh, this would be it for the uh, for the pitcher. Uh, if, we, uh, if we light this one up, the, the pitcher is going to have a mental collapse from which he will not soon return. Zoltan. It's beautiful. Go on, everybody. Let's go again. Oh, and up. Okay, we've got out number two. We've got two runs in. I pressed the wrong button again. Yeah, it's all right. It happened. We've got two runs. I'll, I'll live with it. Uh, here's Steve to, uh, to round out the play. What's going on? We've got one runner left on base. And uh, Steve gets a base hit. Super. Uh, this is uh, this is going quite well. This is the innings that Bulldozer Power are waiting for, and they're, they're making it making it work. Kojak, Mr. Ron, is up to bat. Uh, she's two for two so far today, but previous performance is not an indicator of current anything. No, it isn't. That's what they say. Okay. Uh, the the pitching is all over the place. The pitcher is rattled. Good. You can continue rattling there, sunshine. Well, that was awkward. Um, it's not going to work, but it was close. Uh, just popped it over the head of the pitcher, but uh, it wasn't it wasn't enough to get anywhere. But five runs batted in for Bulldozer Power there. And as long as the defence can stay strong, that's a good lead. Uh, and uh, Des now will be facing off against Boris Wet Paper Bag. And uh, here comes the first pitch. That one's gone skyward. Hatchet is calling for it. And it's out. Good. Next up is Orbital Velocity. Well, uh, well, you know, you have to say that at some point maybe they'll play. Uh, but at other points, maybe they won't. I don't know. It's uh, sports commentary, isn't it? What are you going to do? Uh, that's it. That's, that's nice. Hatchet again. A good stop, but it's not going to be quick enough to get the out. Uh, stopped it going any further, but uh, a base hit's a base hit. Here's Dante Intestines, who's being substituted. Uh, they're dropping the pitcher and bringing in Nina Flattery uh, in place to uh, to soak up this, this pinch-hitting duty. And she smacks that one straight into the crowd. It rattles down the steps there, and someone's going to trip on it later on. Probably sue the team. Uh, another tough dive there for Hatchet, and she makes a complete pig's ear of it. Yeah. Yeah, Cindy ran over to cover, but uh, but we managed to get a recovery. 
but it was it was too late. We've got one out. We've got runners on first and second. This is exactly the kind of position Bulldozer Power do not want to be in while they're sitting on a comfortable lead because that lead could become uncomfortable any time. And that's a good hit. Uh, Papal sort of got it. They're going to advance all manner of bases all over the place. Uh, and that's now runners second and third. Another run batted in. Horatio Gunship, the home run hitter, up next. And, uh, and Bulldozer Power are going to need to start some defensive manoeuvres here. When I say some, any. Any kind of a defensive manoeuvre would be grand. Uh, we, we just gotta, we've just got to put two away, and then we can breathe a sigh of relief again. That's promising. All right. What do you mean safe? That was not flipping safe. He tagged. Oh, come on. Well, a, a, a blown play there. The, the, Steve Murray got the ball. Clearly tagged the batter, but it was ruled in. And, uh, the, the, sorry, the runner. But it was, I'm disgusted. That was wide of the foul line. Oh, would you? Honestly, yeah, should have just taken the easy out and we'd have been in a better position. It's not a point. The, that was an out. No, nope, they managed to... Took a took another flame in what's it. But we've got a strike out, though, which is good. Yeah, how did that work? I wasn't really watching. I, I got excited by the they're trying to take a base off you noise. Well, it's, uh, you know, one of those things. There we go. We put that one out the far side. We've been putting everything inside. I, I do like uh, the inside pitching. Uh, Cindy. Good enough. And that's out number three. Well, a nervy performance there from Bulldozer Power, but they managed to get it done eventually. Daniel Skyline's coming in to, to, uh, to, to pitch in place of Nina Flattery, who's off. Uh, at the end of five innings, it is Bulldozer Power, eight. Stardozer Human Resources, five. You wouldn't rule it either way, not at the moment. Uh, Des Eyeliner with another bat opportunity. Yeah, we'll keep him in. I reckon he's got another inning, maybe two left in him. Uh, I don't really want to burn him too intensely because we, we still need to use him elsewhere in the playoffs. But we'll let this pitching clown just throw it generally all over the place. And Des gets a walk. Well, that's, that's all good. Here's, uh, here's Cindy. She's only one for three today. Really? Is that all? I thought she'd done better than that. I don't, the stats don't lie, son. Unless I misread them. Well, okay, that's certainly possible. Uh, right, okay. Cindy Vapid. Uh, ball two. No strikes as yet. That one was a strike, though. Well, yes, it was. It was right down the centre of the uh, strike zone. Cindy has a swing at that one. It's good. Goes beyond the glove of third base. And that's now runners first and second. No outs. Uh, Bulldozer power looking capable. Uh, here's Hatchet Malibu. Who's had two two base hits today. And that's that's pretty good. That that was where the one... That was the ball. That was the one. Yeah, I know. But we're uh, we're going to drain another pitcher. Because we'll have to play him again next time around. That's strike two. Hatchet, are you going to get off the fence? She's off the fence, into centre field, and that is the bases loaded with no outs. Bordeaux's a power looking capable, and it falls to Ulysses' failure to try and reverse his course of inability. Which he's trying, and he's out. Okay. No power there from failure, none at all. And, it, and had he had some, he would have been caught in the outfield. But that's not a point. There was just nothing on his hit. Yeah, this means it falls to Papal Event Horizon to capitalise on our current running situation. He's just taken strike two. Come on, Papal. Uh-oh. And I think that's everybody done for. Papal is out. A double play there. Murders. Bases loaded. And uh, and two of our most reliable hitters in, uh, in failure in Event Horizon really are stinking the joint up. And frankly, they should be ashamed. Yeah, that's all. We'll know who to point the finger at if we have to point the finger at someone later on. There will be finger pointing and we will be pointing it. And you know at whom will the pointing be directed? Huh? Yeah. Yeah, well. Anyway, Thor Haystacks is coming up for another bat. Uh, we d that was out number one. It was, a, it was a bit of a nothing kind of a play, but it's, uh, you know, it's, the, it's the kind of thing that happens in baseball. Uh, Steve Murray is waving for the ball. Has the ball. Out number two. 
Here's Boris Wet Paper Bag. He hasn't had a hit yet today, but I have a feeling he's about due. Uh, so uh, we shouldn't be too surprised when this one goes for a single. We'll see. Is this one going for a single, Boris? Is that uh, is that the kind of thing that you've got in mind? Is that the aspiration you had when you woke up this morning? You went, oh, I'm going to get a single. And you're sick, didn't you? And uh, hold on. The way it's going at the moment, he's, he's likely to get a walk. There you go. There it is, look. Yeah. Single. Yeah, that's all right. There you, you go like, oh. Are you... Are you the Oracle from the Matrix? And you kind of go, no, I am not the Oracle from the Matrix. I just had a feeling that uh, that, that one might be about to occur. Anyway, with two outs, Bulldozer Power really need to just put this one away uh, so that uh, they can maintain their three-run lead, which is which is what we'd like. We'd like to maintain the three-run lead. No, no, nothing there. Okay, we've got uh, ball one, strike two. Des? Ball inside. Des? Des is about done, incidentally. Come on, Des. Come on, Des. It's popped up. And uh, Steve Murray's going to wrap this one up for us. Thank you, Steve. Uh, okay, well, yeah, we don't, we're holding holding the line is what's happening. Uh, we're going into seven now. Still, th eight plays five in plain favour of Bulldozer Power. And it's Furious Spongebath, who's had two walks so far today. Um, his batting average, though, stinks. But that's okay. He's had two walks. Who cares? Yeah, and that's two balls already here. He's... Uh, he likes that one, though. And uh, Furious is going for a pair. Okay, with his first successful hit, Furious sponge bath there gets a double. Super duper is Zoltan. Uh, Zoltan not blowing at full strength so far. He's had a single with two runs batted in off it. Well, that's good. Uh, but uh, only one of three. Not living up to the hype that surrounds the Zoltan... Zoltan, centre fielder galore, uh, epic scale gentleman with a large derriere. And on this one, it's uh, it's run out to first, but Furious has advanced to third, so we've got a scoring opportunity. It's Big Steve. He's having something of a fiesta, is Big Steve. He's, he's playing quite well. But the game's not over yet, and uh, and Big Steve is is well known for oh, what are you doing, Steve? Uh, is well known for ruining it for everybody. So uh, we'll we'll see how it goes. Just don't ruin it for everyone, Steve. There you go. And go 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 go. It's going to be close. It's going to be close. It's going to be close. Who's running? Someone fast enough. It's okay. We got to run. A sacrifice there from Big Steve and uh, and another run batted in and that leaves uh, leaves Kojak to uh, to try and accomplish something and accomplish something she does. Kojak is reliably getting base hits here and and that's why she's in this position because it means that anybody who is on base has the opportunity to uh, to accomplish. You know. Anyway, uh, we're done with Des. Des has done enough and we're going to bring in Veronica Hammock. Uh, to see if her uh, uh, 27 feet of majesty can make it happen. And that's a base hit. Well, it's not ideal, the situation. I mean, that's, that's the result you want, obviously. But it's not ideal because with two outs, it falls to Cindy to try and turn this into a run. Cind, what you got for us? Strike one. Can't Cindy. Ball one. Can't Cindy. I believe in you. Many don't. Well, I, I, these days, actually, quite a few people do. But uh, Cindy Vapid, it's good enough. It's not going to get the run. But it has loaded the bases, which means that second at bat is going to have to do the job. And that is Hatchet Malibu. Three singles for her so far today. She is playing as well as she has ever played. I mean, whoa. There was some weirdness on that pitch, and it threw me completely. That'll do. Hatchet there. Gets the motor running, and we get a run. Now, uh, whether we get everyone out here or not. Oh, well, his failure. Zero for four today. And they're taking out the Daniel Skyline and bringing in Sinbad Contract to pitch in his stead. Uh, also leading, uh, leaving is uh, Orbital Velocity and Dennis Offside is coming in instead. All right, there's a lot going on. Okay. Failure. Is this... 
a story for the ages? Or is this more of the same? Well, it's good enough. He's going to get a base hit off that, which is another run batted in. I should have probably snagged two, uh, given the distance that the ball travelled. But, you know, that's... It's one of those things. His, uh, his paper, he's, he's batting 500 today, but he's uh, unimpressive. All right, strike one. Come on, Papal. Papal Event Horizon. No, it's picked off by Haystacks. He'll be run out to first, and that's the end of that. Uh, but a successful inning, nonetheless. And we're looking at... Oh, I don't want to bring in a Conservative. We're going to need a good reliever when we're using bad pitchers. So it's going to be Tulip. Oh, no, Tulip is not in the shape at all. It's going to be Jeff. All right, Jeff, come on in. Jeff, can you if you can do three, that'd be great. You only need to do two, and we can uh, uh, we can bring in Oscar uh, to uh, to round us off. Uh, but uh, it is the Jeff Conservative show once again. Jeff Conservative is he used to be a guarantee. It, it, he's not called Jeff the Conservative, Conservative for nothing. Uh, he used to be the man who gives up nothing. Uh, this season, it hasn't been the case. He's still been solid. He's still a, he's still the reliever you want relieving for you, but he hasn't been a, a slam dunk, surefire, uh, hit stopping wonder machine. Well, that is looking pretty good right now. Let's see if we can catch him out on a change up. Go on, give it a go, Jeff. See what they get. There it is, Jeff. The conservative, conservative with his first strike out. That's two outs now, and uh, we're facing Horatio Gunship, who hasn't looked uh, as dominant as he did early in the game. All right, so he had one good hit. It's not the point. Uh, we call that dominance and, and the appearance thereof. Uh, that one's going to hatch it, but she can't get to it because she doesn't really try hard enough. And that'll be a base hit. All right, okay. Yeah. His, uh, his party boy, he hasn't had a hit today, and he might well get one now. But not if he swings like that, no. Okay. D Jeff, where's that going? Into the floor. Yeah, okay. I'm keeping Steve on his toes, we keep Steve on his knees. Uh, right, go on. That's uh, strike two. And uh, Jeff, what's he got for us? Down the line. Spongy kind of fell over. I'll be honest, that was poor. Yeah. Yeah, that was poor. Here's Justine Underworld. She hasn't had a hit today, but the way that this inning is going, I wouldn't rule it out. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily rule it in either. Jeff will be disgusted because most of these hits have come as a result of uh, very poor fielding. But, uh, well... Just in other words, just just sits there and lets a sinker from Jeff just blow straight past her, and uh, and she's gone. That's a side retired, uh, the conservative there doing the damage. Uh, seven innings now played, and it is eleven plays five in favour of Bulldozer Power. Uh, can they hold on in this uh, important second game in the finals of the conference uh, division championship tying thing? Not the actual finals in the the league season thing. No, just the Conference Division Championship, whatever. Here's Zoltan. He's only one for four today. He, he managed to knock in a run or two last time. Well, that one that one wasn't on target there, Sinbad. What are you playing at? There we go. And Zoltan sends a bouncer up to centre field, and that will put runners on one and two, uh, which, is, uh, which is where we want them to be. Arguably, moving forward from one and two as well, which would be super. Uh, here's Big Steve. And uh, he's uh, he's in it. He's in the zone. He's in his face. He's uh, he's all over the place. Uh, strike one. Uh, Steve Murray's having a decent game. Uh, having opened the scoring for us early on, uh, he has since been reliable, both uh, defensively and offensively. Big Steve with a big hit. Has it got the legs? It not only has the legs, but the legs are wearing stockings, and they're wearing some very expensive shoes from Jimmy Choo. And, uh, yeah, he's on the front cover of Ladies Fashion Monthly uh, with the legs of that particular Number wanger. I, I come up with all my own terminology, you know. Here's, uh, here's Kojak to, uh, to bring us uh, uh, to the bridge or wherever it is we're being taken. Kojak, nice hit. Party Boy gets to it, but Kojak's got, uh, no, not enough speed. Here's Jeff. Jeff. Just uh, just wait it out, man. Yep, 
No pressure on you, Jeff. If you get a hit, then that'll be great. But don't feel obliged. Well, there's Jeff getting, get, going for a hit, but getting caught. Uh, that's all right. I don't mind. It's all right. It's fine. I don't mind. It's okay. It's Cindy Vapid. Uh, two outs now, and uh, well, we've we've already done we've done plenty of this inning. So Cindy uh, throws herself away, uh, just in order to keep the you know keep things trotting along. Uh, Fourteen runs now for Bulldozer Power. Are we ready to relax? Nope. No, nope, we're not relaxing. No, it's not happening. We're going to assume that a collapse is imminent. But you've got you've got your grade A pitcher on. Maybe. Oh, flaming heck. But yeah, I mean, it means nothing if my fielders don't get down and field the ball. Get your glove down there. Pick it up. You have to bend. You can't just stand there going, oh, it's such a long way. No, you're not allowed to do that. That one's gone foul. This is Thor Haystacks, who's not been, not been a big threat to us so far today. But, you know, she could turn that around. That one looks like it's in Zoltan's house. And Zoltan says, get out of my house. You weren't invited. Throws it back to second. That's out number one. Uh, it's Boris Wet Paper Bag. And he's he's being subbed. Uh, they're bringing in Bernard Dunk in his place. Okay, Bernard Dunk is a hitter. He does like to hit. Uh, but is he going to hit today? Well, he's had a go. And... Yeah. Okay, that's a home run. Which makes that an astute coaching substitution decision moment there. And uh, that was a that was a big old hit from big old Bernard, and you question why he's not in the team lineup more often. Here's the pitcher; they'll take him out as well. Uh, they're bringing in Kiki Tyrant uh, to bat in his place. Uh, I did wonder which team she played for. Turns out it's this one. Uh, what's she good at? Well, she's an accurate an accurate batter, uh, but with no power. Okay, all right. So what? You, you should be looking for a base hit then. Well, if Jeff ever throws one on target, yeah, that would that would probably be what you would expect. Strike one. All right, Jeff, he's in his moment now. Is he? No. Okay, Jeff, get back in your moment. All right. There you go. That's, uh, that's the full count now. Jeff needs to put this one out to pasture. That'll do. And uh, Kiki Tyrant there run out of first. Uh, Dennis offside, up next. Well, he was brought in as the replacement catcher. Uh, he hasn't yet, he's yet to have to do much of the catching, but uh, with two outs, he, he does have to do some batting. Because the opportunities for Stardozer to get back into this game are becoming fewer with every passing moment. Yeah, uh, you keep fouling them, son. I'll keep throwing them. There you go. Straight down the middle. How'd you like that? No, I hit that one foul as well. Can you throw something that maybe uh, I can hit? Well, you're hitting quite a lot of them, just badly. That one's down the line. It's gone to Kojak. And that's out number three. Well, we're entering the final hurdle. It's Johan Flaming Tremendous. I hate that guy. Uh, in, who's coming into pitch for, for inning number nine. Uh, at the end of eight, it is 14-7 in favour of Bulldozer Power. Uh, we have seen larger score lines than that in a single inning. But quite often, it's been us making them. Uh, Bernard Frenzy is back out again. In f No, yes, no. Bernard Dunk, yes, is gone. Uh, being replaced by Constance Frenzy, who's going to come in at third base, who is real bad at fielding. Okay. Why would you Why would you go for the first pitch? Why would you not just wait? Just There was no pressure on you to take a swing at that one. Uh, his failure, he managed to get hit last time around, which generated a run or two. We're just chucking everybody away, are we? You sure we don't need any more runs? Don't know. But uh, I'm just... If it looks close, I'm having a go. There you go. That's it. Now let's, let's put a fork in this one. I can't maintain my edgy confidence much longer. Edgy confidence. Edgy. Here's Margot Spatula. Three out of four today, including two doubles. That's a heck of a performance for her. Uh, Jeff, sit down. Uh, we're going to bring in uh, Oscar. Yeah. Why are we bringing in Oscar? Oh, I'm glad you asked. We're bringing in Oscar so we can save Jeff's arm because I have a feeling he's going to be relieving for us in the next game as well. Uh, and hopefully Oscar can do enough to uh, to put this one uh, out to dry. That's inside. Yeah. Oscar Cattle Prods. 
He's got two pitches. One of them's quick. And the other one is bendy. Cindy? No, not even close. Failure gets the catch. That's one. Two outs remain. Uh, you would think this was the, the actual final, but it's not the actual final. It's nowhere near the actual final, and it's far from being final. But there's a level of tension here that we've not experienced for Bulldozer Power in some time. And, uh, and that makes for, for quite the compelling moments. Okay. All right. Yeah. No, that's, what's that give us? That gives us strike two. Prod, what do you reckon? That's tricky. Oscar Carroll Prod there with a strikeout. Lovely job. And uh, that will bring Party Boy up to bat uh, with two outs. This is it. This is showtime for Stardozer if they want to, uh, you know, any of that. All right. That's a, that's a foul. Yeah. Right. Strike two. Cattle Prod for the win. It's popped up. Papals waving his arms around. That's victory for Ball Loser Power. Good. Okay, well, we needed that one. I mean, it, that wasn't the end of that particular run. We've we've still got to play Stardozer a third time to make it through to the finals. But a compelling victory uh, was here. This, this is what we had. We had a compelling victory today. I think your number one star might well be Steve Morrie, who accounted for 50% of today's runs. 50% from Steve Morrie. Oh, look, it's a Steve Murray at number one. Horatio Gunship at two, Margot Spatula at three. Steve Murray has a bad back now from carrying the entire team. Well, we've got one game to simulate. It's the Beekeepers against the Axemen, and uh, the Beekeepers can go through with a win here, whereas the Axemen need it to survive. Let's have a look. Axemen off to an early lead, and a, and a strong lead at that. What a comeback. 13-3. Uh, to three. Uh, for the Axemen. So that, uh, the, the other game is also going to go two, three games. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Uh, Gunship looks like he's wounded. Oh, what a shame for him. Uh, Dutch Retro Guy will be pitching for Stardust Human Resources. It's uh, Ominous Bob in the rotation for us. But if we can possibly avoid starting him, we will do. I've been Colonel Failure. Subscribe so you don't miss out on what could be the last game of the season. I'll catch you next time. Cheerio.